Get informed. I'm Andy Rocco. This is Get Informed, UCB Radio, Sirius XM 406. I'm Andy Rocco. I am kind of naive about the world and news and current events, so I get my friends who read the newspaper and AOL News and Yahoo News and the Huffington Post regularly to come on the show and tell me what's going on. And I, I've been I've been researching a little bit before I do the show, so I have been learning a little, and I have making the effort to care what's going on in the world. I'm joined with my co-host and lovely girlfriend and fact checker Lisa Herring. Hi. That's what she sounds like. In case you're wondering about the female voices, that the only a, female, the voice. only female voice. And today I'm very excited. I have some of my funny comedian friends who I really appreciate coming in, telling me what's going on in the world. Mr. Nick Botterot. Hi. Oh, uh, uh, Nick. Uh, hi, everybody. Yeah, hi, Nick. Um, all right. This is so, what a male voice <laughs> sounds like. And uh, Mr. John Frusciante. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what a female voice sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's what my mom sounded like. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Let's get down and talk. Uh, but uh, so the show is about current events and what's going on in the world. And um, so uh, one thing, uh, I think it happened today, is the Pope is resigning. Yeah. It's hot off the presses. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hot off the internet presses. Uh, his name is, I, I always, I know that the last one before him was Pope John. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one is Pope Benedict? That's correct. Right. And his and he has, he has like another name too, which is like Ratzinger or something. Yeah, like. Cardinal Ratzinger was his. His buddies call him that. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a weird, crazy Yo, name. Yo, Rats. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you mean I, we're not going to be able to hang out in the Vatican anymore, Rats? <laughs> it's like Pope's entourage. <laughs> This is this is my uh, turtle. <laughs> this is Johnny Johnny uh, Christianity. Right. So he's resigning, but they are making a movie out of his yeah. uh, um, papacy. But he is. Uh, he was also like I heard something, and I looked it up too. But uh, do you like the thing about him being a Nazi youth too? Is yeah. that true? Uh, yes. 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 It is true. He was a Nazi youth, but it's like kind of he was fourteen when it happened, and like everybody at the age of fourteen in Germany at the time would get, like, drafted to become a Nazi youth. What? Is it only just Germany? Because I might have fallen in with the wrong crowd when I was 14. <laughs> I think Yahtzee knew... Yahtzee? Yahtzee knew... Yahtzee knew is your yeah, punk I, band. I, I am definitely... <laughs> Yahtzee knew. <laughs> six, six, sixes. <laughs> uh, Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Yahtzee Newth is like a bit actor on Law & Order. <laughs> 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 Didn't he play the judge last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was playing. On. But but uh, he also but they, it said that he didn't attend the meetings and like he was very strongly against when they killed his Down syndrome cousin. That's so, what they say. That's what he said. That was like that's his saving grace to why that he what that like when he was when he was a Nazi <laughs> youth he said he didn't like it. And he didn't go to the meetings, and like he really, like very strongly didn't like the idea they killed. So oh, wow. he, was a, he was a he was a Nazi youth in the same way I'm a gym member. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're, you're real part time. Like, gym. Yeah, I, I belong, but I uh, I'm not. In, I don't care. Right. <laughs> He's but, like he's like the I didn't inhale hate of like, yeah. Nazi. I didn't like it when they killed my. Yeah. That's uh, I mean, I, no one likes it when a Down syndrome person gets killed for no good reason, right? Uh, a but lot of if it's for a justified reason, then that's yeah. right. Yeah, like they've ever had a justified reason. <laughs> ah, did you see? Uh, I, 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 Nazi youth to me though, I think that's funny because I just picture like remember how in cartoons like they'd have Scooby Doo, then they'd have like. Scooby Doo youth, where they were all kids. Oh yeah. So yeah. I just picture like the Fuhrer and Hitler as like little guys, little like like, like the, the Nazi youth, <laughs> the Muppet babies. Yeah. Of Nazi <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I just for uh, just to be the nerdy guy that I am, it's the that show was called The Pup Named Scooby Doo. Thank you. The uh, Pup. Thank you. A oh, pup. The pup. The Pup. A, a pup named like, Scooby Doo. The Pup Named Scooby Doo. <laughs> that was the French version. Yeah. Uh, so, but like you know, and obviously. He didn't like gay marriage, and he also wasn't uh, supporting of safe sex. And, right, as is basically your job as the pope. pope right. To... Yeah, but he was even more conservative than uh, most popes, it seemed like, and liberal Catholics were a little wary mm -hmm. of him. But according to Wikipedia, liked to play the piano, was a classical music lover, okay. and liked cats. Um, <laughs> Sounds like rats likes cats? <laughs> rats? More like Katzenberg. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah. yeah, he's resigning for health reasons, supposedly, yes, or he... there's going to be some huge conspiracy that is uh, unveiled in the next couple of days. Let Did me you read just... the Da Vinci Code. I yeah. mean, he is at the center <laughs> of the whole thing. I think Twitter is what I think he was just like, I can't do Twitter. Can't. <laughs> he I'm resigned because he didn't I'm get out. enough friends or follow <laughs> Fridays. <laughs> It's strange that he is, uh, yeah, I mean, how much energy do you need to hate gay people? I mean, apparently it takes a lot. Well, the you know, one of the things that, uh, something that I read pointed out that he's kind of been doing that. He's an old man, you know, he's yeah. in his like 70s By the or the way, 80s. he looks 85. 85, thank yeah. you. I would That's like a great to, fact checking, by thank, the way. Thank you. I would also like to note that uh, Pope John, like I, Pope John was pretty shitty too. Like they're both, they're, they're both shitty because they're Pope. But essentially, I like Pope John a little bit more because he looked more nice. This guy looks like a mix of like an evil-looking Jack Kevorkian. Like yeah. he did look like evil Pope. He, he looked did. like an, he's like he's got ring around his eyes and yeah. he's just like jowl, more jowly. He doesn't mm. look. At least Pope John looked kind of like my grandfather. I think but like, he looked like a pope. You got to look like a pope. To yeah, be a pope. this guy looks like yeah. He looked shitty. Well, I, the the forerunner for the next pope is a black man. Is it? Yeah. Seriously? Nice. Mm-hmm. That's it's great. Time. It's yeah. about time. Seriously. It's about time. Then we, we'll have a gay man as Pope. And then, <laughs> we um, already have. Oh, oh fact checked. <laughs> fact checked. What I, do we have? Oh, well, sure. he likes cats. Oh. So. Yeah, that's true. I don't, uh, he's not married. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anything that comes from the fact checking voice, I automatically <laughs> believe is, I will accept it as truth and gospel. I yes. think it's crazy that this is the first pope to step down since the Middle Ages. Uh, yeah. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, the, you know, because and, 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 these popes are just pope until they're, until they're dead. And that's the assumption that you'll take the job until you die. Yeah, that's so cr- and like because I always, I always thought it was weird that they never they always pick a guy who's about to die to be pope. <laughs> that's never like a young spry guy who's gonna like I'm gonna change things. I'm gonna make things with, you know, be is more open minded. Uh, is this your platform to run for pope? <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, you know you need a small young balding man uh, who <laughs> was raised Catholic, uh, Jesuit high school, and uh, has a lot of questions that I just want to go into the Vatican and shake things up in Vatican City. <laughs> Vatican City. Either this is your your pitch to be Pope or your pitch for a great sitcom. Right. <laughs> exactly. Youth Pope. Youth, Youth Pope. Pope. Youth Pope. <laughs> just small Pope and just trying to con- uh, <laughs> but, uh, confront the Hitler Youth. But because it, it happened, we have to cover it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a cooler Pope. I think you mean Popefully. Hopefully. Hopefully. Very I was nice. trying to guess when he was on Twitter, I was trying to guess his password. Was he, wait, was the Pope really on Twitter? Uh, he, was. Yeah. he is. I think I, I, was, I think his password was Pope and Sesame. I think was, <laughs> was the best one I could come up with. Uh, you know, it's too bad because he was like, you know, a lot of people get mad at him because of the gay marriage thing. It's like, well, you can't, you know. He's the Pope. He's the Pope. He's got to, he's got to, but it's like, there's got to be like a, be, you know, it's all interpretation of the Bible, you know? Yeah. And yeah. it's all, I, I always, I get in a huge, Huge, I get in huge discussions with a lot of because uh, uh, I was raised Christian and I my my beef with Christianity is everyone's it's all love, but then these guys they hate gay people so much and, they, right. and then I talk to them and they go, well, we don't hate them for who they are, we hate them for the acts that they do. And there's this, I think there's this big thing in the church where uh, being gay has to be, uh, it's not something that you do, it's something that you are, and that's the big. They need mm-hmm. a guy to come in and be like, let's at least bring up this discussion that right. it's not who you it's not who you are it's what you do because these guys go it's who you, you know and there's all this hate and i just think they need to have a pope be like let's quell on the hate with everybody you know that, that's what christianity is all well, about the thing i always found interesting about the bible is that uh, jesus like he loved everybody like he loved like he was like hanging out with leopards and yeah. le- I, think I think you mean, you mean leopards. Leopards. leopards lepers no a lot of leopards <laughs> lot of he was leopard. hanging out with deaf leopard <laughs> by the way i have a leopard skin coat that i wear it's just it's got a bunch of weird <laughs> noses and ears <laughs> all right but what stay on he you. hung out with like he hung out with prostitutes and lepers <laughs> the and he falls off <laughs> and like he like that was like and nobody wanted to go near those people right. like like, right. like and like like I would think that like that would carry into like I think gay people are a lot better than I would not hang out with well, a leper. The, but the thing <laughs> like, about it is though I mean I don't mean to put on my religious conspiracy theorist cap right now but the Bible is well, all Well you could take off the captain's hat first. All right. It's a pretty sweet hat though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um Captain Pope. <laughs> <laughs> but That's the Bible the was just you know it was ta- it 
bastardized the acts and teachings of Jesus for the goal of creating religion. Right. You know, like, it's all G- these, like, weirdly misinterpreted and, like, fourth, fifth, sixth-hand stories. Right. It's not about the teachings of Jesus. It's, it's like, some of it is, but most of it is, like, do all these weird things that are <laughs> contradictory. Right. You know? Sure. Um, so I, I, I mean the the uh, even the idea of you know there's there's an argument that the whole founding of Christianity was not Christ's idea but like the people that sort of capitalized on his being and his mm. teachings. Well, you know this actually kind of makes me wonder. This like I feel like this is uh this show I I feel like there's a lot of misunderstandings that I feel like need to be cleared up today and uh i think it's a nice segue because i feel like there's some kind of misunderstanding about uh i heard in the news recently about our old friend joe paterno oh yeah and he's uh recently has been there's like a lot of like trying to like kind of clear his name of like what happened exactly and like i like from what i understand this is like the little bit i never read much information about it until like today and like yesterday before the show and it like for my initial thought was like Joe Paterno was just like walking around the university and all of a sudden he walks into a room and Jerry Sandusky's like fucking a kid and he's like, Whoa, okay. I, I I'm hey, I'm sorry, Jerry, I'm I'm gonna go walk away and then that was like it. Like he I, I think there was like record like is that like that was what I was understanding? What he was, witnessed it. He like, didn't witness it. Somebody who witnessed it told somebody. A janitor who had witnessed it told somebody. Oh, really? Who told, if I'm remembering it correctly, who told Joe Paterno, and Joe Paterno was basically like, "Well, figure it out," <laughs> you know, yeah. um, like, and that's the that is how people implicate him in the whole thing is that he could have done something about it he could have stepped up and said what about he, that janitor though like the janitor did say something mm-hmm. you know it's not he's a janitor it's not within his power to fire sandusky but paterno could have fired sandusky he could have said something to him he could have stopped this but the reason that paterno got a hard time is because he was basically he knew about it but he didn't do anything about it oh. and what i didn't this was the that was the only story i didn't read what what was the new Revelation. So the new thing is that the, there was a, a report called the Free Report. The that, guy, uh, the guy's name was Free. Yeah, yeah, F R E E H, and he did a he did the whole report on the Sandusky case, and his report found that Paterno was you know complicit in this, uh, in, you know that that he knew exactly what was going on, and he washed his hands of it. He was basically like somebody else take care of this. I, I'm not doing anything about it. Right. Uh, and so Paterno's family hired <laughs> their own investigators to reinvestigate this and contacted hundreds of uh, former Penn State players. And they did an investigation, which is, they're saying, contradicting the results of the free report. They're saying that what they have found basically... Uh, uh, Right. What's the word that I'm looking for? Contradicts? Let, disputes? Yeah. yeah, and lets Paterno off the hook. Right. But it, but does it say he didn't know about it? The only thing that could let him off the hook if he, is if he didn't know about it. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't read the... I, I don't know anything about Let's the report. Let's get this free report. I, I feel... Yeah, How much I, is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like... Oh, it's on Kindle for $1.99. It is. Ooh, I'll download it. <laughs> it's ah, kind of buffering. heartbreaking and weird, too, because it's just like... I, feel, I do feel bad because this guy, like essentially spent like his whole life doing something like and did a, an amazing apparently an amazing job at it and now like his whole like legacy is just completely tainted by this and it's just like but it should be <laughs> it, it should yeah. it, 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 that's what you know all these penn state guys you know they were like because they tore down the statue or whatever uh and then everyone just like you know they're all saying it's a huge injustice and all that stuff because he was he was he was Penn State. You right. Know? Yeah. He was the face, the the team, the winning winning as coach, right? Yep. I mean, yeah. And uh, but then this happens and it's just like, I mean, and everyone's like, oh, it's such a sad story, but it's <laughs> like I don't know, it's like Willie Loman, you know, like it's <laughs> like yeah, but he was cheating on, you know, like yeah, if you have if you're not a good. It, it's like, oh, how can this happen? It's like if you turn a blind eye, if you you made, he made a decision, you know, like right. uh, you're like, oh, this is such a sad thing. So do it's you like, think do you think this uh, this thing made by the Paterno, the Paterno family is kind of like smoke and mirrors a little bit to cover it up? Oh, it totally is. It's totally their own trying to like uh, imagine 
this is the man that you know. You are a part of this legacy for like so right. long, and then all of a sudden, this guy dies, and then has his entire career whitewashed and stripped away from him. Like, I, th- th- of course, they'd be in shock and just wanting to. All they want to do is clear the guy's name. Sure, you know, it's damage control. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I it's got, just we live in a world where it's like I, I was I, I was buying it. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it is. You're absolutely right. It's it, for to think that this guy built his whole life around this thing, and then like just because he either didn't know what to do or chose not to do anything, his whole life is now gone. He he leaves this world a disgraced man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like you know I I. If you if you're he, part of why he was so successful is because he just put every ounce of energy of his whole sense into football, right? You know, and if I did that with comedy, yeah. if I just if everything I was in, you just I just put all my and I was just so like you know tunnel vision on comedy and I just wanted and that's all I ever did. Yeah. And then he found out that like I saw a dead body one day <laughs> and I I yelled I yelled to a cop, hey over there! And I was like, all right, I washed my hands of it. I yelled at a guy and pointed, and then this case went unanswered and all these people were hurt. And right. ruin these families. I was like, "Why? Come on, <laughs> it's me. I'm a funny guy. <laughs> like that shouldn't just walk." And everyone's like, "Oh, poor Nick. All his jokes are tainted now because he didn't tell anybody where the dead body was." You what know? exactly are you confessing to right Listen, now? Listen, on Fifth <laughs> Avenue and Sixth Street, I've told like twelve people this. All right, I walk by it every day. It's not enough Wait, people. And I did it. I killed her. All right, but listen, that's not the point. Why the point is, is the a funny still guy. There after so long, I it shouldn't. Ta- you know, your talent. We live in a world where like uh, Michael. Jackson could have done whatever, but his songs were always be like, you'll still jam out to Billie Jean, you know, and like, right. I'll still I'll still see a Mel Gibson movie, we'll still, you know, all these people, it doesn't matter, if your talent outweighs the crime that you did, people forgive you in our world, that's and a, that's, that's ridiculous. Not always, though, I mean, people still... Uh, laughing at O.J. Simpson and Naked Guy. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, uh, the the Michael Jackson example is true because you know vintage Michael Jackson will always be amazing. But I think Mel Gibson. I don't. It's it depends on what you do. You know, because mm. sure, there's different here, variations. Here's something I think about a lot: Chris Brown versus Michael Vick. Now, obviously, their behaviors are vastly different. But Michael Vick was busted doing a terrible thing, went to jail, came out of jail, gives a bunch of money to uh, animal causes, does you know, speaks all around the the country, and basically keeps his nose clean. Right. And people still think of him like, uh, <laughs> still associate him with the things that he did. But it's kind of you know blown over. Or it's settled. But Chris Brown beat the shit out of Rihanna. And is still an asshole. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like the thing with the Pope. You know, the Pope. My he had, he, had a, he was maybe a Nazi youth, but you know, that's the whole Catholic Church. It's forgiving, and that's I, I think it's great that we can you know that somebody be so full of hate, and then we forgive them, <laughs> and they're like, we you can you can have a, you can get a new start if you're if you sure. repent. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And if we can forgive Darth Vader. <laughs> you just have sh- to say something. You just have to have a cool ending to your life. That's yeah. the only. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta, like becoming the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Become the Pope and then throw another crusty old man What over. is he going to do now? What if he gets better and he's like, well, I, I need another job. Uh, what did you, you do in your resume? Well, I was Pope for a while. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we will keep your resume on file at this Applebee's. Uh, <laughs> he's like waiting on a table. Oh, this guy stiffed me. You know, I was Pope last week, and now table five just and walked he, out without paying. He gets one of those receipts that's like, I give 10% to God. Why do I need ah! to tip you? Like that past. Did last week. Yeah. Oh, can we talk about ago? that for a second? That guy Jeez. is a huge dick. It was a woman. It was oh. a woman. But was Lisa? Would you tell us the uh, story that Bruce oh. Banner does? Lou Ferrigno. Oh, Lou, Fer- oh, Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, well, it's the same guy. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Banner was uh, Bill Bixby. Lou oh, Ferrigno was okay. incredible. Hulk. Okay, sorry. Uh, Lou Ferrigno left a receipt for a waiter that says, "I always give 110 percent and left an 110 percent tip." <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's sure. awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Lou mm-hmm. Ferrigno. And he needs the money, too. So, yeah, like, right. he's nice. It was but a, it was a $30 check. It was worth it, though. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Lou Ferrigno really needs the money. I mean, maybe he just invested well, you know? Maybe. The Incredible Hulk was on for, like, what, four or five years? And there were movies and shit like that? Yeah. He probably still does conventions. Yeah, that's right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, we are going to take a quick break. We'll be right, mwa- right, 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 Meh. right back. Yahtzee news. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. With leopards. With more leopards. And We're going to learn words here while during the break. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Start 
start this one by laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we've had a lot of fun here. <laughs> I'm Andy Rocco. This is Genform, UCB Radio, Sirius XM 406. I don't follow politics very well. Uh, I don't know much about current events. So with my co-host, Lisa Herring. Hello. And uh, my funny friends, Nick Baderat and John Frusciante. Hi. Hi. And we uh, we like to clear up what the current events and what's going on in the world. We like to uh, clear them up. We like to, like, yeah. <laughs> I like to know what's going on. One of the things I don't know what's going on. It's a uh, I don't. What what is this thing with Benghazi exactly? Uh, Benghazi uh, dated Not- Jill Ghazi. And they're getting a divorce, <laughs> and uh, it's a real real uh, disaster. Okay, great. Moving on. Uh, so uh, the Honeycomb has a new cereal out. No, uh, <laughs> wait. Do they? I, I wish. Oh my God! I love that's funny. that's the controversy. That's, that's the, the controversy. controversy. Was there really an explosion in the factory to cause these new flavors? Uh, you, I, wait, I, can I, I say one thing? Sure. Like of all the uh, of all the like cereal mascots, yeah. they had for Honeycomb. Yeah. I think Honeycomb had the worst. They had that was was Cheerios mascot? stole the B, so they couldn't even use a B, which right. makes the most sense. But they yeah. used to have like this little dog face ball of hair. <laughs> he's like, I want honeycomb, honeycomb, I want honeycomb. I remember and, that. I don't and he was that. so annoying, and like, he looked like he was on speed. Like, right. And I was like, he that's was not... eating sugared cereal for every meal. Yeah, but I, <laughs> but honeycomb is delicious. It's great. It is good. And like, I felt bad that they got such a shitty mascot. They Always the get... best toys. Yeah. I got and... a full slip and slide. And my other favorite thing about honeycomb is just the box is just gigantic. Yeah, it's huge. Because like the cereal is just big. It's not good, but it's a lot. <laughs> That's their slogan. <laughs> I I did a radio show uh, about a week a week and a half ago, and it was uh, you know you go to because like when you go around uh, to do comedy clubs, they used to go in and do radio at like six a.m. Sure. to kind of promote the club. Six a.m. I just I got two hours sleep. I got up at you know uh, at four to get to this thing. I get there. I sit down. I swear to you, the first thing this guy says to me, because they walk in, they're like, "All right, so Nick, so just uh, you know, get in there and just kind of start being funny." And they're already in the middle of something. Just go in and make yourself at home and just just be funny, promote the shows. It's like cool. I walk in. He's on a total tirade. He's like, "And Barack Obama, the other thing about him and the liberal media." And I'm like, "Oh boy." Uh, and I sit down, and he goes, "Nick Vanderot." And he's like, "I was like, hi." He goes. He goes, Benghazi, Hillary Clinton using <laughs> dead soldiers and crying over them for her own agenda. What do you think? And I'm like, I think we should go to comedy shows this weekend. <laughs> 7 o'clock is industry night. And if you live in the 3125 area code, you get in 10% free. Um, it was, it's just, it, it's, it is the least funny thing to talk about at 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Uh, the thing yeah. what I, from what I understand about Benghazi is that nobody knows about what Benghazi is, you know? And I think it's fine if they, and, and you know, and they're drilling, they're drilling Hillary and 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 Barack trying to figure out what exactly happened. Yeah, there was a there was an attack on the embassy and the American embassy. The, yes. Yeah, in in Benghazi, and the uh, the accusation is that a bunch of people were asleep at the wheel. And why wasn't this known about? And why wasn't there? One of the big things is why wasn't there more security at the embassy, which is being asked by Republicans who have denied budgets for increased security at the embassy. Basically, everybody wants to throw Hillary Clinton and the Democrats under the bus. Okay. And uh, Lisa, do you mind finding the statistics of, like, did a lot of people die during this? Uh, the consulate died, yeah. right? And, and I think a couple other people. Who is that too. guy? Who is he? Is he like... he's, he's the, isn't he the ambassador? Yeah. Am he's I like the our ambassador. He's yeah. like the guy that's like uh, I'm, I'm the representative. Yeah, guy. he's like our liaison. Mm-hmm. He's like our you know, hey, our and goodwill. Again, also this sounds really stupid, but like I'm so uninformed. Benghazi is where? <laughs> uh, Benghazi's in Egypt. Yeah, and You're right. uh, yes. and that's, that you guys were talking about. Because I, so, I was talking to somebody else recently that was like, I was yeah. like, how do I make Benghazi funny? And then you, like you guys were saying, uh, Fugazi. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> that's one way to make it. Yeah, funny. yeah, uh, there are a lot of Fugazi hearings. Yeah. Fugazi <laughs> hearings. Uh, and, and apparently, uh, from what you know, just do from what I understand, the, the what set it all off was this uh, movie that was an anti-Muslim movie. That is that was originally the story is that the and I think this is part of the weirdness of the whole thing is that initially it was said that there was a movie on YouTube about Islam and that set off the riot. 
But then after a couple of weeks, they said, no, it wasn't. It was uh, a pre-planned Al-Qaeda attack. Oh, okay. Two so. comments. Um, yes. It was four Americans. Four Americans died? Yes, and it's okay. in Libya. Libya. It's a, uh, yeah. But isn't that in... Uh, no? Isn't okay. that in it's Egypt? It's its own country. Say? Yeah. Libya, that's in Egypt, right? No, that's in Africa, though. They're both in Africa. Yep. Okay, yeah. we were close. Uh, but uh, so... There's a YouTube video about anti-Muslim. Right. How long was that? It was like two. Like, because no, I don't no. want to watch a m- movie that's more than five. Apparently, the movie's horrible. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's bad. But on top of it being bad subject matter, mm-hmm. it was a horrible, terrible movie. Nobody terrible in America shot. saw it. Mm-hmm. So that was like the thing. It was like Wait. that'd be like you know, just like some guy in Montana just just you know says I hate Libya, and they're like, all right, we're gonna attack the consulate because of this guy that no one in America knows about. So there was no right. production value. It's 14 minutes <laughs> right. long. 14 minutes? I'm not watching anything that's 14 minutes long. It's a long YouTube long. video. Yeah. It's a long The it's Innocence long. of Muslims. Oh, jeez. You, you know, the whole thing's really sad and unfortunate, you know. Uh, and it's sure. just, you know, it's just, I, you know, yeah. Uh, I guess if, if, you know. I mean, it's just, it's no different than when, you know, we want to, did, did Bush know about 9-11 before 9-11? Did sure. Barack know about Libya, Benghazi before Benghazi? Mm-hmm. I mean, these are to me these are the same thing, you know. Right. And, and, and if you're going to get mad about one, you need to be mad about both. I feel, mm-hmm. you know? right? It's just unfair to be like always attacking the other side. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like yeah. oh, how we, we should always be like this with everybody. You know, and, and this is you know it's a lot of like political footballing. Um, the Republicans just want to attack Democrats for something. You know, I mean, they can't, right. like, Barack Obama's a pretty fucking squeaky clean guy. You know, they can't, he's, he's right. not, he's not and getting, I... he's not getting blowjobs from interns in the Oval Office. So they have to find some way to discredit his administration and discredit the people that work for him. Fair enough. Uh... And, and if something did happen and he did know and he did, you know, fuck up, then, um, then, you know, it should be known. I feel like he's kind of got it pretty made because there's nothing that can really, like 9-11 is a million times worse mm-hmm. sounding. Well, he's getting yeah. hammered pretty hard over this drone memo stuff. Right. I don't that, know about this. What's this? The, so there's basically a leaked security memo that makes it okay, that, that gives the military permission to use drones on American citizens overseas. And what? there have been drone attacks on Americans that are, you know, uh, suspects, terrorist suspects, mm. if I, I believe, if I'm getting this right, overseas. Right. Yeah. And so this is like the first big kind of like, wait a minute, he's not the, what happened to the guy we elected who loves well, everyone and is... Uh, well, I mean, there's a thing we've d- I've discovered on the show is that uh, Obama's not like, a, like people keep on thinking Obama's like this very liberal Democrat. He's more conservative than he is... He's a little. He's like kind of a conservative Democrat, mm-hmm. and like he is like he is a war like not like he's not like a, I'm pretty sure he wants to avoid it, but he does go to war and he like he killed Osama bin Laden, mm-hmm. and I find that really strange because uh, I always thought it was weird that that was like one of his like missions was to go kill him. Like I was like, how about give him a trial, like or <laughs> like or do like a th- aren't you supposed to like do a thing? You don't. Just well, we don't have to do that for for non-American citizens, which is why this is like such a controversial thing because Mm -hmm. generally, I don't think this has ever happened before that somebody can just bypass the whole judicial system and kill American citizens. Yeah. With a flying robot. (laughs) Optimus Prime. It's, uh, that's, uh, because, yeah, and there is, and I can't think of it, there was something like like this that happened years ago, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the same thing where it is just kind of, um, it's it's just uh, a lot of them were it's just uh, what is it, what am I trying to say? It's like the Red Scare or it's like the uh, the Salem witch trials, you know, where it's just all of a sudden if somebody is suspicious or they're on a list or something like that, there is because there's no trial they can kill them, right? And it doesn't, you know, they may right. have good cause or just because they're getting they're not getting a trial. That's the unfair thing about yeah, it. Yeah, well, it's like the post nine eleven. Like if your neighbor looks suspicious, call this telephone number. You know, right. just rounding people up or like the. Um, you know the Japanese internment camps yeah. after the war. Um, well, it's uh, mm. the other thing. I, I, I if if there was like negligence or whatever, you know that that should be brought up and, and dealt with because uh, it is unfortunate that you know you know people that were over there trying to make peace or whatever, or, or you know mm-hmm. got killed. Anybody, the people got killed. That sucks. There's also though like 
any I, I also wonder though if like any president or anybody you have 3000 things that are about to explode at any given moment <laughs> and you're manically trying to keep everything from, and then in one one leak you know or one you know there's like right. a hole in the wall at one yeah. point and you you go oh I was trying to put out these 3000 other fires right. I messed up right there and then everybody's on your ass and you know and if again if it's if it's his fault then he should own up to it but I, I do feel like anybody in that position of president stuff's kind of you know, I mean, can can you be responsible for every single thing? I guess that's what we want to find out. Right. right. I think, uh, yeah, I feel like we fail to remember that he's, like, not God. Also, when will <laughs> right. we start getting our own drones that Thank we can you. send to, you know, just kill people arbitrarily? Uh, that's what I would like. A mm. pet drone. Okay. What would you get? A little tiny drone? Yeah, I think I'd, I'd get, get like a, a pocket d- drone. A little pocket drone? Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> just keep carried around with me. Eye drone? Know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. But I'd wait because I would know that like there's gonna be a better eye drone in like a few <laughs> months. You know, I, I'm not really an early adopter. I want to nice. make sure that everybody that like all the bugs are worked out. I'm first. tired of just I, every time I take up my eye drone, it's like, would you like an eye drone update? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, eye drone yeah, yeah, ten yeah, yeah. is yeah. out. And I was like, ah, and I don't know how to work it. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I had a Zune drone. Uh, <laughs> and that did not. It killed nobody. <laughs> Um, uh, Kill nobody. Speaking about uh, this stuff, and I, we're touching upon uh, the problems with the Middle East, but I, I was reading also something recently that uh, the guy that supposedly shot Osama bin Laden is now being denied for an, like health insurance. Yeah. yeah, he's basically poor. <laughs> yeah, because the really? shooter they call him. Yeah, he was. He did it, and like what happened was after he did it, he like he was like, all right, I'm, I'm done. But he because he didn't serve like his full, his full like years in the service. Really? Yeah, like he's like two years away from like serving. But then like because he didn't serve, they just cut off the benefits that he would have gotten. Jeez. And I'm just like, geez, like with this guy, wouldn't you like give yeah. him something? Like, yeah. I I mean, sh- let him live in Osama's compound. Yeah. Or Even something. though they tore it down. Yeah. Yeah, that sweet spot in India. <laughs> where, where was it? <laughs> that, that's in uh, Pakistan, s- wasn't it? That sweet man cave <laughs> that Obama decked out with Zeppelin posters and and all. That I'm pretty stuff. sure this yeah. soldier would be like, "Okay, thank you for letting me live here, but I I got like a bad bronchial conf- infection that I need to have taken care of." <laughs> th- hey, maybe he should be pope. Yeah. Maybe there's a new yeah. opening. Yeah. Take that job. Mm-hmm. That's a good resume thing. What'd you do in your last job? I killed Osama bin Laden. Well, All right, you you're clearly, president of yeah. our company. Yeah, I mean, All right. you're the you're now the. Per- I don't know why you went to me, the manager of this Applebee's. You should have went to the CEO of yeah. Applebee's. He's qualified to be pope if you think of it as like an Inquisition type yeah. thing. I mean, he killed. You know, the- getting rid of evil. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, forgive I th- me, Father, for I'm about to sin. <laughs> <laughs> I just always want a badass action pope. That's mm-hmm. what I want. Yeah. Again, this is these are great uh, movie and TV ideas you're <laughs> right. coming up with here. I always action get movies pope. and news mixed you up. You got to pitch action pope to Troma <laughs> right now. I was thinking, uh, you know, like I, I feel like uh, I, I'm kind of interested about Chris Christie in general, mm-hmm. but I feel like because he's kind of like kind of more of the likable Republican of like likable Republicans I think he could make a likable Pope like likable Pope yeah because Another there's so many sitcom. there you go like just like the Pope that isn't like shit on everything well, a Pope cr- you can have a beer with a Pope you can have a beer <laughs> with yeah, exactly. yeah just, that's his campaign um, that's what got Bush elected yeah, uh, exactly. yeah exactly. Uh, well it's interesting the Chris Christie thing because I'm from New Jersey uh, and Chris Christie kind of turned it all around after or during Sandy because yeah. he's not a likable governor at I, all. I was always under the impression that he was. I mean, he's kind of a dick in press conferences. He's a he's straight a, shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and he, you know, but uh, during Sandy, he embraced Obama and he like pushed people around to get what he want. He changed the. He made sure that Sandy was called a superstorm so that he could get the most possible funding for it. That's why it's called Superstorm Sandy and not a hurricane. Because you can get more federal aid if so you call weird. it a superstorm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, so, like, in the wake of that, he became more of, like, a nice, more likable guy. And it could also be good timing in terms of positioning himself for a presidential run. Right. You know, if you... The Republicans, as you know, have this terrible problem with, you know, their image and everything. So And they also got nobody, it seems like, that they can back. 
right now, it seems uh, like. Well, Marco Rubio is... I heard that like name, Marco yeah. Rubio and Chris That's Christie uh, and Bobby Jindal are, like, the three front runners right now. President Bobby Jindal! <laughs> <laughs> and now, entering the room, President Bobby Jindal! A freedom of speech, all right! Can I talk to somebody about the guy who announces me when I come into the... I've done all the presidents so far. No one has had a, as fun of a name as you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. I coming, understand. <laughs> coming to the podium, Laura Dern. <laughs> they, get, they get Don Pardo to do the Chris Christie, <laughs> Condoleezza Rice, <laughs> <laughs> the Navy Seals. The... <laughs> um, we're gonna take another break. We'll be right back with more current events on Get Informed. I'm Andy Rocco. This is Get Inform, UCB Radio, Sirius XM 406. I'm Andy Rocco. This is my uh, current events chat show where I bring funny people on who know the news better than me, or at least read the newspaper more than I do, and they tell me what's going on in the world. I'm joined with my co-host, Lisa Herring. Hello, Andy. John Frusciante. Hi. And Nick Botterot. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Uh, they just these guys are purposely going out of their way to make it confusing so they don't know who's talking. That's right. Yeah. Thank well, you. That was brought me up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Alex. Hi, hey, guys. Hey, little Alex. Hi. Right. <laughs> Can I just watch? <laughs> yeah, if you want to. Little if you have anything Alex. to say during the show, please, but by all means, chime in. I don't have any opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little Alex. Well, you know who? Uh, you know it's hard to get opinion about. Uh, oh, here we go. To find jurors for this cannibal cop guy. That's a great segue. <laughs> yeah. The, apparently, there's. I can. I understand why they're having a hard time finding people that would be like biased about uh, right. cannibalism. People who are not unsettled by <laughs> cannibal porn. Yeah. Anybody who's okay with it, I think, should be thrown out. Also, I mean, there's a lose lose. You're either going, this is disgusting. Yeah. You're like, I'm fine with this. Yeah. No, you're. Hey, is. is how much cannibal porn is going to be shown? <laughs> is it going to be like a lot? Oh, also, uh, another quick follow-up question. Can I bring my own cannibal porn from home? <laughs> no! I think, yeah, it's like a lose-lose there because you can't get somebody who doesn't mind it, but also... So this guy, he's a cop. He never did anything no. wrong, right? No, he was kind of like Manson in a way, I guess, where he conspired to set up people. With well, nobody he, died. He was responsible for people dying. Oh, he was. Manson right. was. This guy committed conspiracy to kidnap and eat, but he also got information about these women through like cop databases. Yeah, that's so his he, other crime. He broke that law. Mm -hmm. So at least he did that. Unauthorized access to a database. Right. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah I don't he know. Was, he was on chat rooms talking about uh, what he would do to these women and all that stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be the big thing of the case is going to be uh, what is what is somebody uh, just as awful and the worst possible thing in the world as it is. What, when is it a fantasy and when do you when are they really acting it out? But if right. he starts, if he's going into databases. It, yeah, that does seem like he's trying to put this thing in motion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had he had very uh, concise plans of who he was going to take and what he was going to do with them, and he was also going to sell women to, like, also to guys in chat rooms. Wine to go with them, really? Yeah. Red. <laughs> Red. Yeah, you yeah. know what a good wine is? Chloroform. Uh, that'll go with these women pretty well. I'm a horrible person. Please put me in hell. This this person is a Jew and might be very gamey. Just, just telling you right off the bat. This is more. This is a morning girl. Yeah. This is a uh, you know just uh, mm. just yeah, to start I, I your understand day. he started a whole Yelp page for. <laughs> right. I ate this woman and it was terrible. One star will not eat again. Will not eat again. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. And they're, they're like long. This is his only writing outlet. They're like right. long reviews. <laughs> and there's like my husband and I vacationed in right. ruined my vacation. 
We had a we got a sitter. We had the night out, <laughs> and everything was ruined when there was hair and everything. Well, that's what happens when you order ahead. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't even mean uh, to have a pun there. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, but, I don't know. It's true. It's like what is? I mean, this. I think this guy's case is different because he was, you know, pretty. I, but that is the interesting. Just to play devil's advocate, it, it is interesting because. He never actually did anything. Right. So, like, how do you know that, you know, aside from the overwhelming ev- evidence that he was <laughs> heading in that direction, you know, like, how the the, the defense's argument is going to be that, it, look, look, man, it was all fantasy. He wasn't really going to eat anybody. Is just, like, playing in chat rooms. Right. Um, yeah. But, like... It's it, it that is interesting when he didn't actually go through with it. It's sort of a like preemptive arrest based on right all this I stuff know, and I, and the crime of unauthorized access to. I, I mean, I feel like whenever even if I don't meet that many people, like I know all comedians, and other than the moment just now where I joked about it, I don't know how many that actually joke about and fantasize about eating. Like it seems so rare that like if you're not if you're if you're fantasizing about it, I feel like. I don't well, know. this is the world Lock we live up. in, where know. like we're so bombarded by like pornography and just, you know, it used to be like in the twenties, be like, oh look, her sleeves are rolled up in this picture. <laughs> look, here's a drawing of a girl in a bikini, you know, and like, and now it's just like you you click through everything and you're just like eight people bukkaking all over, uh, you mm-hmm. know, some, you know, and then it just and you're just like ah bored, 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 and it's I almost wonder if like. Just the bombardment and saturation of just horrible things that are constantly on your phone, in a, you know, like uh, mm, it, yeah. just, it's just too much. And now you just like, I need it to be weirder. I need to be weirder. Yeah. I need so, it weirder. I gotta eat them. Yeah, that is true. Psychologically, like you need more. Like it, be, there's a point where like just looking at women sleeveless is not enough, and then yeah. you know, like the the normal porn that you look at for some people is not enough, and then you need like more and more. I don't, whenever shit. I hear, I guess so, but like like there's this thing where I feel like I guess I'm really boring because I'm really satisfied with the porn that well, I see. I mean, <laughs> this is an extreme example, like <laughs> yeah. like going on to chat rooms and talking about how you want to eat people <laughs> is like really <laughs> fucked up. Like you definitely yeah. what, the thing is when you're doing that shit. I think you kind of need to stop and be like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute, what am I doing? I better call. I better. He's a cop. He could like. He has access to therapists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, They're, like my only weirdest fantasy is just that I want to be with a woman that's like the the fifty foot woman, the woman that's like. In, <laughs> I want to be with her for what? some reason. But <laughs> why? I what do you know. imagine going down? I don't in know. That, I uh, just feel like I like doing chores. I like doing household work. I feel like no, like, you don't. To, to stimulate your <laughs> vagina, I use like a big roller brush and a stick kind of thing. So you <laughs> want to do housework in her vagina? All right, that's weirder than this cannibal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm just we saying. We need to talk. Okay, Lisa, we'll talk. My fantasy is to meet uh, someone that I can sp- that's my best friend. <laughs> Aw. And very- then I eat her from eyeballs. <laughs> Uh, I always leave that part out on Match.com well, profile. I don't know. I mean, there's a part of me that really hopes this guy goes to jail. Well, he's, he's uh, I hope it's all of you. Bail. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's good. I mean, if they What's can that? find a jury. They, he's being held without bail, says Lisa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, and his case, this is something that's not like happening somewhere else. This is happening in New York. He's a New York cop, right? Yeah, so yeah. we could all be summoned mm-hmm. for this jury. Yes, yeah, also. That's true. Also, like, who knows? Like, like, how many network of cannibal cops there is too like you know, so what would happen let's say he gets acquitted or whatever and then you know then they can't legally i guess maybe discharge him from the force and then what happens if he's he and his partner are chasing a guy down an alley and he's like ah oh, he's gone I was like he's gone i heard gunshots <laughs> no he's gone hey man uh i'll meet up with you later <laughs> hey, you want to get a uh, you want to get a bite to eat no 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 i'm just gonna uh hang out here for a little bit yeah. are you or, gonna eat that guy or yeah. even yeah he gets reassigned to the morgue <laughs> <laughs> or even or what if they can't prove anything but the, the police department lets him go how is he gonna go to applebee's and apply for Job. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you that cannibal cop? <laughs> hey, I got a question. Oh, the taquito is made out of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he does go to prison, he's probably really going to complain about the food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And, 
Oh, how are people made like that? I don't, I don't know. How do the, people what? How how are those people made? I think how do you grow a guy like that? It's there's so much weird psychological, <laughs> biological, you know, chemistry. There shit. was a great story about him, and it said that his like inspiration for being a cannibal was the mask. When Cameron Diaz is tied up, that that is like the thing Whoa. that sparked his interest in this. Somebody wow. stop him. That's his catcher in the rye, yeah. the mask. <laughs> <laughs> he walks around with a copy of the mask in his pocket. Jesus. Eat him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he should know that in Montclair, New Jersey, there's a restaurant called Cuban Pete's. So uh, that's I love that. Like, I dream. actually really like that song in that sequence in the movie. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna tell you something. I tried tofu bacon and uh, and I I wasn't that bad. So yeah, hey man, just grill up some bacon, pretend it's a girl named Shirley, and and live a life. Yeah, that's a good Be, idea. Let, let your, don't let your fantasy leave the frying pan mm-hmm. in your kitchen. You if know? you get enough tofu, you could mold it into a person. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, that's you could. Do whatever yeah. you want. I, you know, I think the government shh, 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 government. Hey. If you're listening, this is what you do. Open a restaurant that does serve people, but it's not. It's just... And just right. arrest everybody who comes in. Or just, or just let them have it and <laughs> just be like, you can have people, but this is the only way. You can only have it here, but it's all ham. Like When I die, I'm donating my body to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let everybody just get their rocks off on me. Uh, Why go it a waste? Yeah. Just uh, don't kill people. Kill the kill Like um, me. Uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. <laughs> What do you they, think uh, is the, the the culture that the alien comes from? You eat people when they die. All right, if you Maybe had this guy's an alien. If you had to choose between what was worse, would you say a guy who fucks a corpse or eats a corpse? Would you say is worse? Eats. Eats. Oh yeah, eats. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Because like, so you guys are like, hey, I can understand why you wouldn't want to fuck a corpse. I mean, they're neither one. I'm not like letting one off the hook <laughs> <laughs> in condemning the other one, but right. one of them just seems more like. I mean, look, you got to put in a lot of effort to cook and eat a dead body. You know, like fucking yeah. takes a couple of minutes. Yeah. You know, let, say you have like a momentary lapse of judgment. You wind up with your dick in a corpse. You know, you have a good time. And that's the end of it. But like, you got to really premeditate eating a dead body. Yeah. To me, it's more of a diet. I just don't want the carbs. I mean, that's just. I'm gonna die right yeah. now. I'm Cut out all people mm-hmm. from my diet. Uh, <laughs> really trying to. T- <laughs> I, don't, I, it's, I don't know what's to be like, Nick, have you been eating Henry? <laughs> yeah, Henry goes straight to my thighs. <laughs> uh, the uh, the next thing was, I guess, another crazy person. And I, I every time I see pictures of, uh, I think his name is Christopher. Another crazy cop. And yeah, oh, another yeah. crazy uh, Christopher Dorna mm-hmm. or Dornan. Dornan. He is, he's Dorner. smiling Dorner. in every picture, sure. like like always smiling every he picture, looks... so no one believes you did this. Uh, yeah, also like he looks like a nice guy. He like just seems very like friendly. He and... looks like well, I don't know. He kind of looks like LL Cool J, maybe <laughs> like, like a, a big fat smile, LL like a cool big J. like yeah. jovial. I was uh... about to say he's fat, but like I seen pictures of him. He's not like fat. He's actually pretty muscular. Oh, is that all muscle? He's like a like I think he well, was like, like an army guy, right? I think he was a fa- I think he was like a really in shape muscular guy, but he kind of like lost it a little bit. But now he's but he's still like a big dude that yeah. you wouldn't want to fuck with, really. But and he he seems the, very I know gregarious. There's a, there's a million dollar reward out for him yes, now. Yes, one million and dollars. And it's being he's being considered. This is being considered an act of domestic terrorism. What he did. Yeah, oh, interesting. That's yeah. A, uh, so and he killed somebody. What is it? He's he, killed three cops, from what I understand. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. And uh, now there's a huge Facebook movement. There's a lot of people that are supporting him. Yeah. Yes. Uh, because they say that the, he's a dark angel. He's a hero because there's corruption in the L. And I think some people Jesus. are looking at this as like. Uh, LAPD is racist, uh, and these are corrupt people. And I, 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 I'm getting that like these are guys that might have like maybe killed people that 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 shouldn't have killed people, and then he's this is his vengeance on them or something mm-hmm. like that. And I don't think that's I don't I mean whether that's true or not. These you don't you don't take justice in your own hands. You don't yeah. kill people without a trial. That's the whole thing. We're mad about the drone and stuff. I'm right. Like, you know? That's yeah. true. How much legitimacy is there behind those claims? And I, yet, just as 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 legit as an anonymous Facebook post can yeah. be. Oh, so yeah. it's totally legit. It's I yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, all you gotta say is like, well, you know how the LAPD's fucked up, right? And like everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It is a little sad. It is a little disappointing the support that this guy's getting, and it's from other weird, you know, 
people, but it's, I mean, the guy's killing well, I, cops. Well, I read yeah. a little bit of an article about him, but they're also saying, like, he has support, but they're also saying, well, you have to understand uh, the Holmes guy, the guy that shot the theater in Aurora. He has support. He has support, yeah. too, that people are That's like, true. yeah, you, totally. People who go to movies suck. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get rid of moviegoers. And there was yeah. also a ton of conspiracy theories that cropped up out of that right, as well. Exactly. And these people are all just eating a woman while they go, I agree, yeah. You know, they're all the other horrible people. Yeah. Of course the other horrible people are piping in going, this is great. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's so strange that, like, so he was so he was kind of like this uh, bad, badass cop that mm-hmm. took down other cops. But he, ki- no, he, it looks like he shot another cop's daughter oh, and geez. her fiance oh. and taunted him about it before he did it. Okay, that's not cool. So yeah. It's kind of a little bit more incriminating. No, there's nothing cool about it. There's no <laughs> justification for it. There's no, there's no, there's no, I mean, it's, 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 he's, it's horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry I laughed just now, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> so he didn't shoot cops. He shot the uh, a but he daughter. Also, I keep seeing cop killer on all the headlines. Yeah. Ex-cop cop cop killer. This is the only story I didn't read up on before I came That's in. That's fine. Uh, Maybe he's just an ex-cop mm-hmm. and, uh, he and was a also, killer. He was also in the Army. He was a, he was a pretty decorated uh, service person. Maybe he's I the mean, guy that shot Osama bin Laden. Yeah. There you go. And he's just trying to mm-hmm. get yeah. Let's get let's something let's for get that. that let's get that misunderstanding going there. Let's, uh, it was <laughs> definitely the guy that killed Osama bin Laden. It's definitely him. All right. You know what's well. interesting? I I uh, I met a guy at a because I you know there's something about war that you know I just uh, what those guys go through I can't even imagine. Oh no, and, yeah. And, uh, those you know how you deal with life when you come back and maybe you you're in the LAPD and just. You know, you snap and you just, mm-hmm. it's just you you justify the worst crimes in the world in your mind. It was so weird. I did a sh- I did a comedy show once, and this guy came up afterwards, like, "Hey, man, just you know, it was really funny." I, you know, I was like, "Thanks a lot." And he's like, "Just want to say, yeah, it's, it's just great to laugh." You know, I used to be a, a I, I go, "What did you, used to, what do you do?" He's like, "Oh, I'm retired now. I was a Navy." He said he was a Navy SEAL for years, mm-hmm. and he then all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, it's good to laugh." He goes, uh, uh, "He goes, yeah, you know that heckler that was here." I was like, yeah, that one woman wouldn't shut up. He's like, yeah. He goes, there's a switch in my brain, and I had a long time, a hard time turning that switch off, and I can finally turn it off now. But if she would have been here a couple of years ago, and he just pointed at her and did guns and go, <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, Whoa. he goes, but I'm better now. And like, I was like, uh, you know, it was such a weird thing. Oh, but he was like, I was like, well, thank you for your service. But he was, you know, it was an awesome, he was really fun, awesome dude. And I, I don't think he really would have shot the heckler. Uh, right. You know, like comic fantasy, that's awesome. Uh, Do you think, uh, to joke about it. But, yeah. but he was, but he did like, I talked about it for a while. And he said like, when I got back, there was like this weird thing of just like, sometimes I just wanted to just kill somebody when they you know i'm just i guess went into that mode and right yeah, it's a it's a trigger I, they're not people anymore he's in yeah. the targets yeah, yeah this is a it's kind of a it's kind of sad when uh soldiers come back because essentially they are like like i imagine like the soldier i wouldn't want to hang out with is the one that was like yeah i'm back i'm fine <laughs> i'm not changed at all <laughs> yeah nothing just, affected me nothing affected me can yeah. i serve on a cannibal jury is that <laughs> <a better? laughs> exactly <laughs> Well, what do you think about seeing this cannibal porn here? <laughs> Fine. Uh, that's, that's it? That's soft. It. <laughs> Too soft. You got anything hard back Where there? Where is this from the 1920s? <laughs> um, Man, so. yeah, I don't know how you do war and then come back and, and just... Uh, yeah. It's crazy. A, able to do that. Yeah, and the fact that the, there's not... It's so underfunded, the whole enterprise of like reinvesting uh, soldiers and veterans back into society. There, there's so much just like, well, here you go. Have a job, you know. <laughs> that's what's so crazy. I mean, cause or like, don't, you know, or don't have a job. Yeah, the, that's the most heartbreaking thing about the whole Navy. The the guy who killed Obama and isn't getting any. Uh, <laughs> the guy who killed Obama isn't getting any uh, job is because th- he's the best guy. That's a window into how many people that didn't have such a ho- pro- high profile job over there that are coming back and, and having a hard time not getting work and having a hard time getting benefits and stuff like that. It's it's pretty sad that mm-hmm. those guys should those guys deserve everything, you know. Yeah, why don't you go if you're listening to this now, go donate some money to something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go donate to something. 
<laughs> just throw money somewhere. <laughs> Either to the army or my website, <laughs> oodlesapun.com. Uh, I'm trying to put together a really silly shirt this weekend, so, but I need $10 more to, uh, well, what, what, for the screen Actually, speaking of which, do you have any uh, shows that you're doing soon, uh, uh, Nick? Any shows that I want to plug, check out RVC. It's uh, on uh, R-I-D-E-S dot TV, rides dot TV. It's a, uh, a home shopping parody show me and TJ Miller did. That's oh, what I'm promoting right now, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. And uh, do you have a Twitter that you want to plug real quick? N-I-C-K-V-A-T-T-E-R-O-T-T, NickVatterot.com. Mm. And little Alex, do you want to promote anything? I don't do nothing. All right. Oh, thanks, little Alex. Little Alex. <laughs> How'd he get in here? John Frusciante? You uh, have a funny yeah, improv you, group? Yeah, you can see me with the uh, improv group Airwolf every Saturday at 1030 at the UCB East. Um, that's Upright Citizens Brigade Theater East. You can check out ucbtheater.com for more info on that. Uh, and my Twitter is John J. Frusciante. That's J O H N J F R U S C I A N T E. That's wonderful. It. Wonderful. Uh, Lisa, do you have your Twitter? You want to? I do. It's at Lisa Barracuda. I also have a show at the pit on February 22nd with my sketch group, Bridge and Tunnel. McNeat. Great. Uh, Lisa, what are, what, you know, if people Our- wanted to. C- our website, to see her. Yeah. if people want to find it, is getinformedradio.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at getinformedUCB. Neat. And I'm Andy Rocco. You can find me on Twitter. Just look for my name, Andy Rocco. I don't I don't know what the thing it's is. It's Andy I, Rocco. Is it the Andy Rocco? No, or? it's just Andy All Rocco. All right, so look at it, Andy Rocco. And I don't know. Like, I tweet occasionally. <laughs> but you like occasional tweets. <laughs> You're really selling it. Yeah. Andy Rocco's the man for you. Paul <laughs> getting informed more importantly. Um, but um, also like us on Facebook, too. That's a big deal. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Nick and Thanks John. Thanks for having for me. This is great. Yeah, I feel I'd informed. Like, yeah, I, me too. I like to thank Lisa thank and uh, Jason for doing the show, putting the show together. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, thanks a lot. It's been real.